Schmanskis back in Millette Hall where the Miami Red Hawks have an 8-2 lead over the Buffalo Bulls. And I was in Coach Megan Duffy's huddle and she was praising Leah Purvis not only for her six points but her defense on Sierra Dillard because you guys were talking about it. She can get hot and she could put the Buffalo Bulls back in this game. 2-3 zone. Thank you very much, Emily. As the Just a two-point lead, but it's energized the Miami bench. Coach Jack Owens saying to his team something he always says, which is do your job. Makai Larry for that last play, getting lots of pats on the back, too. Absolutely. And you guys were talking about how good it is to have Kenna McCoy back on the floor, but she never really went away. She's always a vocal leader in the huddle, and she was the saying the same things that Coach Duffy said, which is good job, let's keep communicating. Absolutely. Thank you, Emily. You can tell there's some frustration coming from the Army bench, lots of slumped shoulders, but the Red Hawks are dialed in. Their shoulders are leaning into what Coach Owens is saying, which is play the right way. And you mentioned Bam Bowman having a big game. He came off the bench saying, woo, giving himself a pat the back. <laughs> Absolutely. So I talked to Coach Conde yesterday, and she was pretty emphatic in saying that the Red Hawks were going to win this one today. And it looked a little shaky there, but she kept telling her team to just stick with it and keep playing. I think they dug themselves a little too much of a hole, but I would expect a good response in the second set. Thank From you. the first time out to the second time out for Coach Owens, the team seems more dialed in, and obviously their offense is working. Coach Owens is also noticing that zone coverage that you guys mentioned. He's saying, make them pay for it. Going to try and make them pay for the zone. Hey, you mentioned how Coach Condit was Matt Coach of the Year this year, and when I talked to her about it, she gave it up to her assistants for getting her team to where they are, and that's who was talking to the team to try to get them in a system to counter this lead that Ball State has. Emily Smanska is back in Millette Hall, where the Red Hawks have extended their lead to 24-10 to over the Buffalo Bulls, and you might be wondering what Coach Jack is telling her team. Well, she's saying we need a bit more effort because the Red Hawks are out-rebounding the Bulls 26-14, to and she's a little frustrated, her head's in her hand, between play and she's telling her team come on let's just work hard Red Hawks have been working harder on the glass I'm Emily Samanskis back at Millette Hall where Miami has a slim lead over the Toledo Rockets and much like what coach Megan Duffy was saying coach Trisha Cullop is telling her team they need to know when to run and when to slow things down because one moment she's saying hurry up and then the next moment she's saying be more patient but regardless of what they do they just need to know what they're doing very good. Thank you, Emily. Point bench definitely focused, but looking a little fatigued. You mentioned how a lot of those players that started the game are still in it. And Coach Hendricks said that if you're getting tired, talk to each other. Slow the game down. Coach Tomich was not talking X's and O's because Bowling Green has proven that they can compete with this Eastern team in the past. She was talking about how she wants to hear more communication, to settle down, get in a rhythm, and to forget about that last set because they can't do anything about it now. Thank you, Emily. Yeah. After the first set, Kimmy Olsen was telling her team, Miami's got the momentum and they're shoving it down your throat. And she says she can feel the nervousness on the bench, but she wants them to turn that nervousness into determination. I was going to say, you've tried man-to-man -man coverage and zone coverage against Miami Red Hawks. What are you looking for from your defense in the second half? Just really um, just throwing them off guard. You've sent two games to overtime, won this one pretty close. What does it say about your team moving through conference play? Resiliency. You know? All right, Coach, after your team was down the first half, what gave them the edge to battle it out and win in this one? i tell you what. I, I Coach an eight-point lead over the Buffalo Bulls, and a lot seemed to be going well for your team. What did you like about your first half? I thought we got off to a great start. I heard you talking about your offense in the huddle. Is that what you're going to kind of ride for the rest of the tournament? Yeah, I mean. All right, Coach, safe to say, a lot of people didn't think you would do it today. What was the difference for your team? You know, all right, coach, lots of tears, lots of hugs. How are you feeling right now? I'm so excited for these guys. Four matches in four days. What is so special about this team that gave you the championship? This team is tough. All right, coach, I saw you clutching your heart there a couple times. What are your thoughts about this back and forth one? You know, Buffalo. At the Buffalo, beginning of the fourth quarter, you told your team that feels good. So what feels good about this one? Well, one, it feels good to get a win. Uh, After an all-around solid game, is there anything else you want your team to work on moving forward? We just have to continue to get better.